Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and today we're gonna kill mutant mushrooms in a weird dungeon because we're playing Shroom and Gloom. And this is a true indie game, as you saw at the bottom there. It's made in 14 days for a game jam. And I have to say, I've only done one round, but I am loving the playstyle of this. So, yeah, this is a card based dungeon crawler, and. For being only 14 days uh, in development, it's fantastic. I'm having a blast playing it, so we're going to see if we can hopefully get to a boss today and see how we can do. Now, as you can see, uh, I'm very scared of W's. Just kidding. It's telling me to go forward. And yeah, it's essentially just a basic dungeon crawler where we have to choose certain things. So right now, we're in kind of like a... A camp zone, if you will. I am seeing that we have a chest over here that we can unlock or a door. Now, I can bash things open as well. That takes damage, but we're full health right now. So I do want to see what's inside this chest. All right. I think I'm going to go actually being that that's two energy. So my energy is down at the bottom. When we're in a fight sequence, I only have five or sorry, three energy per turn. Force growth is very tempting because that damage is really nice. But with two energy, I don't think it's going to be that good of an idea. I don't know what a toothpick does. So just out of morbid curiosity, we're going to get table manners here and add a toothpick to our battle deck, which we'll see in a second here because I'm going to uh, not rest. We're going to bash right through this, take two damage, and finally get into our first battle. So as I said, we have uh, three energy over here. So we are going to try our best to uh, kill some of these guys as quickly as possible, obviously. So we got the side guys, which are very basic. Actually, they have timid engaged right now. We'll cancel an attack if damaged. So my first attack isn't going to work, I don't think. Never mind. I should mention I've only done one run, so I'm definitely learning as we go. I can't even play this Table Manners card, so I guess it says when a card is played, add a toothpick to your hand, but it didn't add a toothpick when I stabbed that guy. I don't know. We'll find out as we go. Let's just stab this guy, and then we're going to roast him, which makes him toasty, and then we eat him because he's a mushroom. You got to remember, everything we're fighting is mushrooms. So yeah, I'm going to consume his body and gain five health. Oh, so it must be... Oh, okay, that makes sense. Table manners. Only when we eat things, we get a toothpick, and then I can do two, two damage with said toothpick. Perfect. All right, so that was round one. He didn't do anything that round, but next round, he's going to deal five... Or sorry, 10 damage. Math is hard. Thankfully, he's not going to get to that round because I have slayed him. And there we go. That's kind of how the fights work so i can choose a reward don't know what truffles are but i will i love them in real life so we're going to hunt for truffles in this game i can do it now sure let's do it Woo. all right being that we're so low energy i think i'm gonna get the vibrating truffle right now we will run into energy issues later most likely um and then you know what let's dig for treasure as well so this mace is tempting just because of how much damage it does but again being that we're so low energy i think we got to go for a nice aoe attack so we don't have any yet we'll definitely grab the scythe that will attack all things in a room so perfect and then we have a key to unlock our door into i think our first safety room and indeed it is looks like nothing to do in this room so we're gonna move on and fight once again usually you can set up camp there i don't really know how that works uh, all right, what do we got here? This guy's gonna do 10 damage next round, so we should probably kill him first. So I'm gonna flash him, stab him in the face, and roast him in the face, and then I'm not gonna eat because I don't need the food right now. And we'll just stab him just to warn him. This is actually a really bad hand right now. I guess I could eat intentionally just to get the toothpicks. So let's do toasty. Then we can toothpick the bad boy. I guess we'll scythe just because we can. And then we'll roast, which we actually did kill him with. Perfect. That worked out really well. We can get a lock pick, which is kind of like the key, but except we get a card when we unlock a door. Obviously, bandage would be nice. I'm kind of curious what practice dummy does, though. I've never gotten that card, so sharpen my attacks. I wonder if all my attacks do more damage. Let's find out. I can't actually use it right now. I'm assuming it's in the camp rooms, which we should get next. Now, I'm going to dig for treasure once again. I'm going to stick with low energy. This is actually a great starter card because we can make him vulnerable. What vulnerability does is give more damage the next hit. So, yeah, I want to keep my energy quite high because in my first run, that was my biggest issue. I'm going to bash this and... Okay, we're here. So I think these are randomized. Looks like we have two more fights and then a boss fight. So that should be pretty interesting. And yes, I wanted to put the practice dummy up. We'll put it over here. Select a card to gain energize. Gain one energy when this card is drawn. 
All right, so we want a card that we're going to keep long term. These cards we can get rid of later on, depending on what we loot. So I'm going to keep the scythe for a long time. So we'll grab the scythe and gain energy with that. Uh, don't need to rest. We're 23 out of 25 health. I will eat rations to gain three energy, though, and draw a card. And look at that. We got one for truffles. So we got the everlasting truffle. That is a massive frigging truffle. Interesting. You can increase max health by three. It has 99 uses. Oh, this is really hard because I feel like upgrading our health late game would be very, very smart. But this spicy truffle's insane because it makes enemies toasty if I kill them. And toasty enemies give me five health. So basically, both of these are health-based. I think I'm going to get the everlasting truffle. That might have been a mistake. But I couldn't say no to that massive, delicious truffle. All right, let's continue going here. And what the hell is this? We'll try and cast spell shield. Okay, so spell shields are annoying. They take... It's going to take two hits to even damage this guy. These these side guys are going to be very easy to kill, though. So I'm thinking we should probably kill them first. All right, so we're going to scythe first. That is going to drop this guy down. I should be able to... Yeah, I can just stab him to death. I think that's the best option. Uh, unfortunately, this is not really how you want to use Crippling Blow, but we should be able to kill the other little guy as well. And then we only got to deal with Big Boy here. Not the best pick up here, but hey, it's something. So we're just going to use all my damaging cards and drop him down to 17 out of 20. Um, I guess, yeah, I can heal for a little bit and I gain one energy, but I can't use that energy because I don't have any cards. Perfect. We got our everlasting truffle. So that's cool. First of all, we'll flash him. Everyone hates when they get flashed. Unfortunately, I don't have one more attack. It would be nice because he'd be at six vulnerability. Does it stack? Okay, sorry. Four vulnerability. So T receives 200% more damage. But yeah, we don't have enough damaging cards right now. So we're going to upgrade our health and then we're going to heal for five. And look at that. We're at 27 out of 28. This is going quite well right now. Finally, we get table manners. Unfortunately, I have no food now. So we scythed him. I got to get rid of his spell shield. So I'm going to deal three damage because that's less than four. Uh, we're still not going to kill him. Actually, sorry, we will because he's still vulnerable. I didn't realize it went between turns. So never mind. All good. We win. And I get something. Oh, what the hell is an adventure pouch? Draw two cards when this card is drawn. So that's just to get a bigger deck, it sounds like. Recklessness is insane. I don't know if I want to do 10 damage to draw more cards. I think we'll just get the bandage. No, you know what? Let's go for the adventure pouch. Because, yeah, we get so many cards now in this room. And with those cards, we can hunt for truffles and whatnot. All right, I think we got to continue upgrading our max health. So we're going to get the tasty truffle. Of course, we got to dig for treasure as well. What the hell does this mean? We can stack cards? So Wormwood, when a toothpick is added to my hand, I gain a rotten toothpick instead. I wonder if it does, like, a poison attack. I think Wormwood will be way too situational. I would have to have the toothpick card and this in my hand. When, and the Vicarious Mace sounds interesting. It deals eight damage, but it has a linger. When another card grows, I'm assuming when that's added to the hand, that means the card's damage is increased by two. So that's a good killing blow card. So I'm going to grab that. And is there anything else we want to do here? Uh, well, we can do rations to gain two energy. I thought it was supposed to draw a card as well. I guess it doesn't. All right. And there's no sense resting because, well, I think the next room might be a restroom anyways. And I'd rather get a new stack of cards. I'm going to bash that open. And indeed, I was correct. So we're going to practice dummy it up again. And which card do we want to take? Oh, wow. So this time it's vulnerable. I thought last time, I don't know, maybe it was vulnerable last time. Um, Take 50% extra damage per stack. I feel like the scythe would make the most sense because that would add to everything it hits. So yeah, we'll definitely do the scythe once again. And now just because we can, we're going to rest to gain an extra three health and then bash open and move forward once again. All right, so this guy's easier to kill, so I'm going to make him vulnerable. All right, this will receive 50% more damage. I don't think it's going to kill him, but it's going to be close. Yeah, 12. And unfortunately, as I said, energy is going to be a common issue. I don't have enough energy, so we're going to end turn there. And that's all we can do. All right, so this is a much better hand. We have Table Manners and Tasty Truffle. We also have Scythe. I'm going to Scythe right now because we got to drop down the um, Spell Shield. I don't know why I got rid of two with that. I'm going to Tasty Truffle. That gives me a toothpick. I'm going to... Ooh, do we, do we have any vulnerabilities here? Doesn't look like it. So I'm going to stab him. Uh, deal. I need to stab him again. Oh, actually, sorry. He doesn't have his shield anymore. So never mind. This is perfect. I can kill him with the toothpick. And, well, I can drop one of his shields down. I can't get through that shield, though, unfortunately. And 
and we got even more of a shield now. Fantastic. Vulnerability, we'll add that. Love me, my everlasting truffle. We'll continue working on my health a bit. And unfortunately, I can't get through that spell shield with those. So we drop this shield at least. He's going to hit me through. But now he doesn't have his spell shield. So we're going to add vulnerability. Perfect. I forgot my scythe has vulnerability now as well. So now he's going to take 100% more damage. So this should be eight and this should be six. He's dead. Okay, we're definitely gonna get prepare. Have one extra max energy in the next combat. I don't think that means it stays, but I'm definitely doing it because I need all the energy I can get. We're also going to truffle hunt once again. I think we're gonna do this one. This one's got more situational use. So we'll grab that. We're gonna dig as well. This willing sacrifice is tempting because I have a lot of fatal cards. They all trigger in my hand when I use it, but glutton sounds way better. Unplayable. When a card is eaten, gain energy. So again, we're working on that energy as much as I can, and we're going to gain two energy right now. Unfortunately, I can't place practice dummies in this room, so we can't use that. I guess all I can do is heal for 15 health and then back that door and move on to the next room. It looks like we're going to have a boss fight next. Uh, I haven't had to do a boss yet. Fun fact, I didn't survive long enough, so fantastic. I can't even use my practice dummy in this room. I can't do anything. That's all right. We're going to take a few, little more damage. We still have 34 health, though, so we should be okay. And here is my first boss fight. So that... Oh, God, 90. Jesus Christ. All right, so scythe it up. That adds vulnerability to everybody. I love that I added vulnerability to my scythe. Oh, interesting. Uh, good thing I hovered over that. So these guys do nothing when uh, their next attack. So I don't really have to focus on killing them then. I wonder if I should stack vulnerabilities on boss man himself. So I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to try and knock him down as much as I possibly can. We'll stab him and then we'll Vicarious Mace him. And he's down to 58 health already. And they shouldn't hit me if my assumption is correct. He's going to hit me, obviously, which hurts, but they do nothing. We're going to Everlasting Truffle, gain more health. Uh, we're... Whew. I have a lot of heals right now, and that's it. That's unfortunate. But heals are better than nothing. Uh, we gained energy. I can't use that energy, and I'm going to heal for some more. So we're almost max health, and I think, yeah, we should probably kill that guy because he's going to attack me next round. This guy's going to attack me once again, but I healed through his attack, so we should be okay, assuming they don't have any other special abilities. I'm not worried about the side guy again because he's just blocking next round, so we got to add vulnerabilities to this guy again. So it looks like the vulnerabilities slowly get lost every turn. So perfect. We have vulnerability with Flash. We have Crippling Blow, so he is going to take an extra 200% damage now. Actually, you know what? I, if I toast this guy, I get a Toasty. Being that we have Table Manners and Glutton right now, I want that instead, because that's going to give me a Toothpick, and it also gained my energy, but I guess I don't really need energy right now, now that I think about it, but at least now they're both dead, and he is on his last legs. Or shrooms, I should say. God damn it, I didn't realize he was doing a different ability. He just raised them. All right, well, we'll scythe once again. Unfortunately, that didn't knock him down. Um, increase max health. I need to just take this guy down at this point. So yeah, we're going to try and kill him and he is dead. Now we just have the little guys. Okay, goodbye and goodbye. It was fun knowing you guys. Give me a good card. Ooh, we can make a toad shrine. Are y'all excited about that? I am. We're going to grab that card. Ooh, that'd be a fun card. So we can deal four damage. If fatal, increase this card's damage by one so you could stack it over time. I think I am going to do that card. Uh, it sounds like a fun one we can hopefully uh, improve over time. We shall trouble hunt as well. Uh, gain one energy or draw two cards. I think we're, we're doing okay for energy now, so we'll draw cards. And we're going to prepare so we gain extra energy in the next combat fight. Now we need to bash this open. I do, I would like to heal. So hopefully we can heal. Yes, I got a rest. Perfect. Oh, I didn't realize these rooms' energies were combined. I thought the energy got reset in this room. Well, I have ruined it because I can't rest now. All right, well, thankfully we're not fighting a boss because I need to heal. We're down to 30 health. Oh God, what the hell is this? We'll try and inspire enemies when their turn comes. Inspired enemies deal double damage. Yeah, no, we have to kill that guy. Okay, so I can heal with the weird truffle and draw two cards. So let's do that. Perfect. We're gonna vulnerize everybody with the uh, first attack. Oh, maybe I should have did. Fl I should have did flash first so that um, first attack did more damage. Uh, that was a mistake on my part. I'm gonna kill that guy though with the vicarious mace. And we're going to start killing this guy because he's horrifying. And there we go. That was a good first turn. 
Okay, so he did a stupid little sing thing, and now he's doing... Wait, 12 out of 15 health? What? I don't get it. He also has 10 armor. Oh my god, he's gonna do so much damage next turn, because I think this singing went to this guy. All right, so let's just take the hit, I guess. We have lots of health for that reason. Um, I'm going to stab for four damage. Damn it, I forgot he had vulnerability on. I should have used the hungry blade. I was trying to prep the hungry blade. Uh, but I guess we got to try and kill this guy now, which isn't going to happen because he has no vulnerabilities right now. I just got to get through that armor, I guess. And we got through the armor, but we're going to get hit. That's okay, though. That wasn't too bad at all. Scythe him. He's got four vulnerability, and he's dead. All right, being that our health is so high now, I think getting bandage would, would make sense. Since it only has three uses, let's use one of those. And let's go to the next room, because we've made this mistake before where these rooms don't combine together. See, it reset my cards, though. That's the annoying part. All right, let's do a Toad Shrine here. Now, the Toad Shrine's pretty cool. It will essentially forget a card. Because some of these starting cards are not the best, obviously. We currently have two stabs. Yeah, let's get rid of one of those. And I think that was the best option. Now I have an option. I can either do practice dummy or rest. Being that I only need seven health, I don't think rest is the, good, the best idea here. I want to um, increase my cards once again. If fatal, increase damage by two. Should I do this? Oh, the scythe wouldn't make sense there because scythe is a first hit. But the mace, I think that's a good idea. So we're going to upgrade that mace even more. All right, we don't have enough money for anything else or energy, I should say. So let's move on. Let's get to our next fight. Ooh, our first four fight. Unfortunately, I didn't have my scythe now. Great. The annoying part is I can't actually kill anybody right now because I only have three energy. So I couldn't even kill these guys that are going to get armor next turn. This is going to be a hard fight, I think, actually. Uh, so the only thing I can really do... What does this thing do? We'll cancel attack of damage. All right, well, that changes everything. So we can cancel his attack if we simply stab him. Yeah, he, he's canceled, and we can cancel this guy over here as well. I think that was my best move. And yeah, we're just going to end the turn. We're not going to get any damage, and we just got to deal with 20 extra armor. We got our scythe now. I want to start making these guys vulnerable because they're the scary ones. So I put vulnerability on him. We're going to scythe now. That has canceled the two outside guys. Uh, we, I don't think we're going to be able to kill anybody right now. But let's get Everlasting Truffle. That's going to give me a toothpick. And I'm just going to try and drop this guy as much as I possibly can. Unfortunately, we're going to take a, quite a bit of damage this turn. All right. Normally, I would want to increase this blade's damage, obviously. But right now, I'm getting a little scared with my health. So I'm not going to do the killing blow with that. And instead, I'm going to do the killing blow with Rose, which is going to give me a toast. I'm going to eat said toasty and do a crippling blow to this guy with a crap load of armor. Uh, so we can hopefully kill him next turn. Oh, interesting. Uh, I can't use my flash anymore because it has battery of zero. Does that mean I need to get rid of this card now? I don't think it ever gains its battery. I didn't realize that was a thing. All right, that's fine. I guess we'll uh, scythe it up and hopefully deal eight damage. Is that going to be enough? I can't math right now. I think I'm just going to go for it. Okay, yeah, that was 24 damage. Unfortunately, I'm just going to have to accept the hit from this guy. I'd rather get this guy down as low as possible. And there's an extra six damage, but that's okay. We're going to knock this guy out with the Hungry Blade, which should increase the Hungry Blade next turn. And then all I can really do is just try and knock this guy down a little bit. And we are out of runs. Now he's going to spawn somebody. Wait, you spawn everybody? I thought it was one person. Oh my god. I just dealt with all of you. This might be the death of me now. Especially with this stupid flash that has no battery anymore. So we'll scythe. That's going to add vulnerabilities to everybody. Can I kill one of these guys? That's the question. Well, I have to try and go for the guy that's going to stab me to death. Unfortunately, <laughs> he's got one health. Freaking one health, man. I'm going to roast this guy, make him toasty so I can heal a bit. If I get hit next round, I'm down to one health. So I need to try and take out one of these guys. Obviously, one of these lower guys makes sense. Oh, I thought I had three energy. I don't. So we got our toasty at least. Perfect. We can get toothpick. I forgot about toothpick. And oh my God, one health again. Oh, that's so frustrating. Okay, well, there we go. Thankfully, I got my toasty, so I got a little bit of health left. Oh my God, they're both going to spawn units. This is such a hard thing to deal with. I need, like, a cancel ability option or something. All right, well, we're going to make this guy toasty and eat said toasty. Everlasting truffle. That gives me 14. I mean, I'm going to survive, but I am not having fun with this fight. 
I thought it would be one. How are you, how are you supposed to deal with this? I know this game's supposed to be hard the further you get, but my God. So we'll kill him and I can't really do anything else besides try and drop some of this armor down, I guess. There we go. I think this is it, isn't it? Or it's close. Yeah, we got two health left. We're gonna kill that guy and this guy's gonna get through and kill me if I don't get something to heal. I mean, I have the everlasting that puts it up to five, but he's gonna do six damage. And all I can do is that. <laughs> so I think it's over, guys. <laughs> Damn it. What a fun game though. For such a quickly designed game, I'm having a lot of fun with this one. I think we'll end off here though, guys. That is Shroom and Gloom. I really hope they go deeper into development in this game because honestly, I had a fun time playing it. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching it as well. If you want to see more, let me know in the comments below. And if you do want to play the game, by the way, it's totally free. I'll have a link at the top of the video description. As always, thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one. Yeah.